up until The Last of Us, the show that I believe is the best show on television is Yellowstone. I love Yellowstone and it is psychotically popular. Like I think three times the amount of viewers that watch Succession. That doesn't make it better. I'm just saying it's, it is a psychotically <clears throat> high quality show of extreme excellence. It's the Godfather on horses. It's the Godfather crossed with Sons of Anarchy on horses. I mean, that, that's that's what Yellowstone strong is. Strong elevator pitch. <laughs> that, that is a great elevator pitch. <laughs> and Taylor Sheridan, who's one of the best storytellers out there right now, uh, it's it's his brainchild and it's his baby and all that kind of stuff. Well, we heard back in February some reports going around that Kevin Costner was going to be leaving the show. Well, now, according to Entertainment Tonight, again, this is not a Gus's Gas Station Movie Reviews dot fart website. It's Entertainment Tonight is exclusively revealing that they have confirmed that Kevin Costner is out after the end of season five. He is gone. And will not be returning for season six. And this, to me, is, I'm, I'm of two minds. The optimist in me says, hey, we got five seasons, which is more than a lot of Netflix show fans can say for a lot of their favorite shows. But hey, you know what? <clears throat> we got five seasons. Five seasons of insanely great television that I have absolutely adored. And, and, and the other optimist in me is that the great thing is that it has not just been about John Dutton. It hasn't just been Kevin Costner. This show is filled with fantastic, multi-dimensional characters that all have a million shades of gray to them that I've absolutely adored each and every one of them. Almost every one of the major characters on the show, if you did a spinoff of those characters, I would watch those shows. Whether it's Rip or any of the rest of them, I would watch it. The show's that great. On the other hand, it is very disappointing <clears throat> to hear that that the cause may not be there. It would not may not be is officially going to be done, but it's really not surprising when we look down the timeline. Let's let's look at the timeline of what's been going on here, and apparently at the heart of this whole problem, it has been Costner and Taylor Sheridan just do not get along. Uh, back in February, first reports came out that Yellowstone may end after season five due, due to Costner only wanting to shoot one week. So here's what happened. As those of you who watch Yellowstone know, season five was broken into two parts. The first part of season five was already aired, and then we're supposed to have like an eight-month break between that. They haven't even started shooting the second part of season five yet. And one of the holdups has been that according to the reports, that Costner only wanted to spend one week shooting the second part of season five. Uh, those are the reports that came out of deadline. Anyway, that got compounded then by reports from Puck that suggested that Costner also wanted a raise, despite the fact that as of the moment, he was the highest paid actor on television with a reported 1.2 to $1.5 million per episode. Which when you combine that with the fact that he only really wanted to be in five minutes of each episode... <laughs> In the second part of season five, when he was getting paid 1.2 to $1.5 million per episode, yeah, you can see how that would rub things the wrong way. It, it goes on. Reports then later claim constant creative control clashes between Costner and show creator Taylor Sheridan. Now, of course, you got to remember, <clears throat> Kevin Costner is not just an actor. He is an Academy Award winning director. He's a producer. He's a bit of a, a storyteller himself. Well... Taylor Sheridan is also pretty much reported to be an alpha male. Like he likes to have absolute unquestioned control over his properties. And that's worked for him. That's worked real well. When you look at his movies, when you looked at 1923, 1883, now you look Yellowstone. Uh, I mean, the King of Tulsa isn't as good as the Yellowstone stuff, but King of Tulsa enjoyed great success for Paramount. And also because he's got, well, you got two alphas like that, and apparently there's been a lot of clashing, creative clashing. Anyway, then the drama got ratcheted up when last month the popular Paley Fest festival, this is, if you're a TV fan, you know Paley Fest. It's kind of like Comic-Con for just television where the biggest shows bring all their stars and directors and do these big panels, and it's a big celebrated thing. Well, last second, the Yellowstone one got scrapped. And we all know why. 
But at the very last second, that upped the drama that's kind of suggesting. And again, like we mentioned earlier, <clears throat> the second, this is how big of a mess this is. The second half of season five hasn't even started shooting yet. Hasn't even started shooting yet. It's supposed to start airing again in November. And listen, if they started shooting soon, they can make that November date. They can. But it puts it all in a little bit of peril. Um, listen, this, like many of the drama stories in Hollywood, is one in which we, as the outside people looking in, we as fans, have to acknowledge, first and foremost, we don't know everything. We're gleaning and seeing little bits of information. So we we got to be careful here. So I'm not going to sit here and ascribe blame completely to Taylor Sheridan or completely to Kevin Costner or, or, or completely to anybody. I, I will say this, though. Even before Yellowstone, and you guys know I'm a big Kevin Costner guy, but even before Yellowstone, the rap on Kevin Costner around Hollywood has been, he's kind of the supreme Hollywood diva. And there have been many, many, many stories from directors and everything that he is, he can be very difficult to work with. And when you get somebody like that up against somebody who apparently is very control centric and very stubborn, like a Taylor, as much of a genius as he is, as Taylor Sheridan, the fact that this thing lasted five years is shocking to me and great. Listen, I'm sitting here today as a guy whose heart is broken. I want to see more of this. Um, there are going to be more spinoffs. There are going to be more extensions of the show. That's the world of Yellowstone will continue, but it sucks that one of my favorite characters on TV won't be there anymore. Anyway, Chris, uh, you heard about this story. Apparently it is now official. Kevin Costner will depart the show after the second part of season five. Mm -hmm. If he is even in the second part of season five, yeah. uh, which he contractually is obligated to do, but who knows? What do you make of all this? I mean, this is kind of a mess, isn't it? The Paley Fest stuff is where I really raised my eyebrows because that really is the mecca of television yeah. conventions, right? And and for those of you who live in the LA area, it is a must if you want to be involved in the television industry to go and attend it, because in the best way, you learn how the sausage is made. You get all this behind the scenes information about the production, how things went, how actors connected with things, how writers were doing their work on these. It is fabulous. And it's also honestly a big part of kind of Emmy campaigning yeah. is doing all of that. Um, this is a show that got Kevin Costner a Golden Globe, you know, for this role. He he has gotten only positive reviews from this show. So it is a shame to see a partnership like that kind of dissolve. And this actually comes to at a, a very difficult time for, for Kevin Costner. I know we're not, you know, a TMZ kind of group, but he also is going through a divorce. His wife just filed for divorce with him um, while all this news was breaking. So there's a lot going on for Kevin Costner. That all being said, at the end of the day, we are all of service to a story, right? And hopefully we are making the best with the people we're working with. I'm not a big fan of hearing about creators who are, it's my way or the highway. Obviously, we don't know if that's actually true. I also don't like actors who are very, I'm number one on the call sheet, so everyone's going to listen to me. I don't think that's a great way to behave either. We're all trying to make a story together. So let's all try to just behave like adults and come together. And as much value as I find in my profession, Kevin Costner is also replaceable, frankly, at the end of the day. And I'm not a big Yellowstone <coughs> fan. Let me put that out there, too. I'm not as into this show as you are. So, I mean, maybe losing John Dutton is a huge, huge loss if it's writing off that character or killing off the character or replacing him, you know? But it is what it is. If he doesn't want to be part of this show and if they can't come to an amicable agreement for having him on there, there's no point in him sticking around, right? The idea of him saying that he would only do one week's worth of work, though, I do find kind of eyebrow raising. His lawyer has come out against that statement, too, saying that's a ridiculous accusation. Of course, that's what your lawyer would do for you. Yeah. But I mean, he making, was willing to be there for seven sir, sir, or for eight, eight days. Multiple days. For eight but days. anyone who's ever made a television show before, though, you know, it takes days to make an episode. Time is money, but it doesn't it's not a week to do an entire season. So that was something that stuck out to me, too, of this is a seasoned professional who, sure, a lot of these guys, we mentioned Samuel L. Jackson earlier, he's got golf course days written into his contract so he can go off and, you know, play golf. But we all know how long it takes to make television. A week ain't it. That's one that makes me raise my eyebrows a little bit. I feel like that's something that the rumor mill got a hold of. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Are you like me? Are you a big Yellowstone fan? Maybe you haven't watched it. Guys, if you haven't, You've got a treat in front of you. You got four and a half seasons that you get to binge and get caught up, and you're going to love this show. It's great. But Kevin Costner apparently is not going to be there anymore. Do you think Yellowstone can survive? I mean, listen, 1883 and 1923 didn't have him in it, and they seem to work. I don't know. Or maybe it's doomed without him. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comments section below. 
and let us know your thoughts. Today's episode of The John Campy Show is brought to you by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Guys, more and more, we enjoy shopping online, whether it's on our phones or our computers. And how many times have you gotten to the checkout and seen that promo code box and thought, man, if I only had a promo code, I could save some money. Well, thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. So here's the situation. You're shopping online on one of your favorite sites. And when you go to checkout, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Then just wait a few seconds as Honey works its magic and searches for coupons it can find for that site that you're on. And if Honey finds working coupon, just watch the price drop. Recently, Ann and I were hanging out at home one evening and we decided to order in and the Honey button appeared. I was able to apply coupon and I actually saved like six or seven bucks. It was that easy to use. And Honey doesn't just work on your desktop computer. It also works on your iPhone. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash campia. That's joinhoney.com slash campia.